child, I was surrounded by the loving and extended Musser family of grandparents, aunts, uncles, cousins, and neighbors in Laramie, Wyoming. But all that ended when I was seven because of a secret. I'll never know the whole story since Dad seldom talked about it. You see, after I was born, my father discovered that he had been born out of wedlock. At the time, folks did not view adoption as we do today. People believed it was best for children not to know. Over the tears and objections of the Mussers, my dad became obsessed about finding his real mother. He ran newspaper ads and finally found his birth mother, Vera Martin, through her sister, Eva. Vera had married well, but her husband knew nothing about her having a child before he met her. My dad had to agree to keep the fact that he was her son a secret. She hired my dad to help run their ranch in Reno. When we left Wyoming to go to Nevada, the Mussers were hurt, and they severed all of our ties with them. Upon arrival at the ranch, Vera showered us with gifts and kindness. Oh, I longed so much to call her Grandma, but I had to call her Aunt Vera instead. Dad had lots of trouble keeping a secret, and he began to deaden his feelings by drinking. No one noticed at first since alcohol was a big part of the ranch atmosphere. The combination of all that whiskey and keeping the secret caused a lot of problems. And Aunt Vera, well, she finally asked us to leave. We could not return to the Musser family, and Dad knew that he had now lost his birth mother for the second time. She died of cancer ten years later in 1958. Dad took solace in his music, but he never really recovered. Before he died, my dad told me, I messed up. Well, I think he did the best he could. Keeping a secret is one thing. Being the secret is something else altogether. <laughs>